Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about DC Superhero Girls because um, Warner Brothers, DC, this Warner Brothers Discovery just announced that um, DC Superhero Girls are being removed from Amazon and YouTube and Max and all places, um, so you can't really purchase it anymore or whatever. Um, and what's happening is you got people all of a sudden coming out the woodwork trying to say how popular it is like Gail Simone um, she's trying to sit up here and say that's impossible DC Superhero Girls is such a massive property and such a massive popularity um, well clearly it's not if it was a massive property and if it was popular like everybody said it was then guess what they wouldn't be removing it um, at all it's, um, it's a write off because they can't make sales from it just because you have some children that watches it, the fact of the matter is these are DC superhero female characters. When the show looks um, too cutesy and girly, when the show focuses more on girl issues than actual superheroing, um, when you take the characters and they all go to high school or whatever, instead of like being actual um, adult female characters, guess what? That stuff isn't appealing to your target audience, which people keep forgetting that comic book readers, I mean, comic book characters are um, target audiences, mostly young men. That includes the female characters. Yes, it's nice that you get some girls to like it, and that's cool that they, they enjoy it. But the fact of the matter is, it's not enough of them because DC Superhero Girls is basically a DC's version of Disney Princesses, and that that's the problem. Trying to change, trying to take franchises who major players are men and trying to make it into a princess um, line doesn't work. That's why they're removing it. And people like Gail Simone just was confused about like, oh, I just don't understand how. Well, I'm breaking it down to you. And that's not trying to insult anybody who likes it. That's great that there are little girls who like it. But the truth of the matter is that the target audience for most DC comic book characters are men little boys there are no dc superhero female character um action figures for the boys to buy they were dolls that's not what little boys you know what i'm saying that's not what little boys are going to um go in the store and buy and that includes the merchandise a lot of the merchandise was in the cutesy princess style again target audience is not um, boys, you you made a you made a show whose target audience is female. That's why it doesn't work. People, will, well, if the Disney princess worked because Disney marketed towards girls, you know what I'm saying. The Disney princesses have always had a huge girl empowerment line thing, but the movies were also good, and they knew when to put action and adventure in there for the boys to appreciate, so they can watch the show. You get what I'm saying? But when you don't do stuff like that. Of course, it's not going to work. Yes, the Disney princess target audience is still female girls, but that's what Disney know. You know what I'm saying? Disney knows that target audience. While the DC superhero girls are trying to take DC classic characters and make them for little girls when they really shouldn't be for little girls at all. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the conundrum right there. You keep trying to take things that are target the target audience is men and then you try I mean men and little boys and then try to sugarcoat it and then try to change it for the girls and I know people are gonna be like but Trey think about the look no fuck the little girls I'm, I'm sorry I, I I am there are a lot of other things for little girls to be be involved in and be interested in let those let that stuff be that stuff stop taking stuff that clearly the target audience is mostly men and little boys and you make it for um you try to change it into a princess thing or you try to turn it into a little girl thing and then get confused why you're not making the sales the reason why this stuff is being pulled right now is because the shit suck when shit suck when they don't when they don't find value in it guess what they write it off as a tax off which means that they're not allowed to um which means they have to remove it from all the platforms and then after that they have to um they not only do they remove it from all platforms then they have to um, make sure that you can't buy it anymore because they already done they um they already got money from whoever 
whoever um is writing it off anyway to let them know like hey we we um we brought this property this is it or we brought it off as a as a tax break which means that um we're not allowed to sell it or use it anymore because we wasn't making money beforehand and we cut a deal with whoever to buy buy that stuff up that's why it's happening because it wasn't sellable it wasn't it wasn't bringing in the money or the audience like people think it is just because you see people on social media liking it retweeting it or whatever people have to understand that this stuff also has merchandise and in the real world if it's not sellable it's not sellable just like how um people it was the same thing with like i was trying to tell you guys about wakanda forever you can't sit up there and turn an entire line whose target audience were boys in the first movie and then not put that many men in the movie and then focus mostly on the females and then have mo more females over males and thought that that was going to sell even todd mcfarland had told y'all that sorry that he's like they were like how come you don't make a 50 50 line of 50 percent girls and then 50 percent guys and he was like the truth of the matter is is because um boys buy the buy the men more so than they buy the females and female action figures don't sell as much as as male as male um male action figures which he's he's telling the truth he is completely telling the truth you can get mad all you want to but the truth of the matter is that he's right like you can't you can't make that happen you can't force nature and that's what happens because i bet half y'all didn't even know dc superhero girls that even existed the only reason why i knew about it is because they um had changed some of the characters they had changed some of the characters and it made the news and then i remember one time i was watching cartoon network and i flipped on the i flipped on the screen um i flipped you know flipped on through the channel and then i saw a show called dc superhero girls and that was it and then of course right after young justice or green lantern i think they did like a little little premiere i'm thinking like oh it's gonna be a cool little action set where it focus on the female heroes and you're like no and then they could do this little cutesy wootsy bullshit then the, the art style done changed three three times over see like y'all can't even keep consistent with the animation style that's another thing that kind of that can piss people off too and that can be another turn off so i'm just i'm just being honest like again get mad all you want to talk about somebody being sexist or whatever but that's just the truth it's just kind of like how birds of prey and the fabulous emancipation of one harley quinn why did that movie fail well the movie failed because you your target audience is men but you made sure that the women weren't appealing they weren't attractive they weren't sexy and now you're confused and flabbergasted that people didn't go and watch it well it, come on now and then gail should know better because she wrote birds of prey and wonder woman where they were drawn very sexy and appealing good story but the women also looked appealing and who who was buying most of those books men you got you gotta know who your audience is you can't just assume that you can just do whatever the fuck you want to just because you think that we need more female representation on screen it doesn't work like that not in not when the target audience have been mainly men for a long time now if dc if dc comic books had started off at, and their target audience were female in the beginning sure you might got something going on but the problem is you don't because those those characters the most of the characters are are um not most of the characters are drawn by well they are mostly drawn by men created by men and again people who were buying the comic books mostly were little boys and men it's just it's, it's just kind of crazy how people are people are acting like i just don't know how this movie failed or i don't know why this didn't succeed especially when it's you changing characters up and getting rid of what makes them the characters you know what i'm saying like you can't I, I just don't understand what you was expecting. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a change up these classic characters. I'm gonna make sure they're not appealing to me, and I'm gonna make sure that the target audience is, is um, is female. I'm gonna belittle the men, make them a little bit stupid, 
um, show how powerful women are and how women don't need no man. And you're confused on why people aren't buying the merchandise and why people aren't supporting it. Mm, it, it, it again, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together. But yeah, um, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that DC Superhero Girls should continue? Um, are you um, sad that it's been canceled and to the point where it's being removed all throughout all throughout um, history of DC? Or what? Because, I mean, I know, I know a few of y'all probably never even heard of it because I haven't even heard of it, honestly, really, um, like that. But, hey, these are, the, these are the things. And right now, WB needs to make money. So, if they're going to take things off and do a tax cut off so you can't, you, you know, well, be like, hey, look, in order for us to, to agree to make more, um, make, get some money, we got to sell this stuff off, <laughs> then so be it. You know, you know what I'm saying? then so be it but yeah that's my thoughts um follow me down with the links below and if you guys need to contact me um you know the usual stuff all the links is down in the description below and i'll catch you guys later peace out